Here's the latest from Earth Now. This display shows the NOAA Climate Digest for November 2013. The Climate Digest summarizes noteworthy statistics for the month, season, and year. The average global land and ocean temperature for November was the warmest November since records began in 1880. Parts of western United States experienced continued below average precipitation. Meanwhile, Alaska experienced its wettest November since records began in 1918. A big story in November for East Asia was Typhoon Haiyan. With maximum winds of 315 kilometers per hour, Haiyan made landfall in the Philippines early in the month, killing over 6,000 people, making it the deadliest typhoon on record for the Philippines. Meanwhile, Russia observed its warmest November since records began in 1891. Also, whereas Spain experienced above average temperatures for October, the country had its coolest November since 1985. This real-time data set is updated monthly and shows the global land and ocean temperature anomalies. Anomalies are simply departures from average. Blue portions of the map, as seen in the southeastern United States, indicate below average temperatures throughout November 2013. Red portions of the map, as seen in Russia, highlight regions around the world that experienced above average warmth. White indicates near average conditions. This real-time data set shows sea surface temperature anomalies measured by NOAA satellites. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal ocean temperatures whereas red indicates warmer than normal ocean temperatures. Globally, the ocean surface temperatures tied with 2009 as the third warmest November on record. In the eastern tropical Pacific, NOAA's Climate Prediction Center predicts that neutral El Nino-La Nina conditions will continue into the northern hemisphere summer. This real-time data set collected by microwave sensors on NOAA satellites shows snow and ice cover updated daily. Watch the progression of days and note the retreat and expansion of snowfall. The November sea ice extent for the Arctic was the sixth lowest since satellite records began in 1979. Finally, we'll move to Antarctica and discover that its sea ice extent was the largest on record. And that's your November 2013 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.